Right, well, hello there, Jams Design, Captain of the Steves, and I've got an empty cup. Yes, because I'm filming this on the same day that I was um, drinking the coffee. So, yeah, sneaky, I know, I know. But yeah, we're going to be pressing on with trying to find some treasures. Yeah, hence why I'm in the same shirt. <laughs> okay, right, so let's jump on over into the PlayStation universe. Chicka boom! There I am in the PlayStation universe, and here I am looking at my wonders and my my treasures that I've found to date. Now I would be debriefing my frigates. However, my frigates are still out on missions, and I've got a little a little way to go before they're they're back from their frigate missions. I think some of them might be back from the frigate missions. Uh, no, oh look, one has got one minute left to go, but the rest have got like three hours or so to go. So I might as well debrief them all at once, even though there are a couple that are about to end off their missions any time now. So what I figured I'd do instead is show you how to find the large colossal archives, get yourself a nice archive relic map, and then go and get yourself a treasure from the ground. Thank you, so let's go do that. So here we go, let's get on out of that freighter and let's fly on over to a space station. Where's my freaking ship? There it is over there. Why can't they put it right next to the freaking ramp? I don't know. Right, well let's go on over to the station because the first part of this takes place inside of a regular space station inside of normal space. There we go, there's a station right there. Let's fly on inside. Let's do a barrel roll. Heck yes, do it in style, Captain Steve. Heck yes, whoa, there goes my breakfast. Right, well let's get on in through here. Now, what I'm going to be looking for in here is some navigational data. Navigational data that I can swap for a map. Now, you can find navigational data on planet surfaces. They're usually on these little pedestals and they're red cubes that float above them. They're quite rare to find on planets. They're usually denoted by little yellow markers with stars on. Now, I tend to find more navigational data over on this side of the actual station. Oh yes, and we've got loads of these little kiosks. It's a way you kind of find them. Now I'm looking for these flat hockey pucks like that. Chicka boom. Now although it said navigational data, you can see there I've got nanites. Yes, you're not navigational data, you imposter. You see this blue cube? It says encrypted navigational data. You hit it. I got a navigational data that time. Heck yes I did. Another blue cube. Let's give that one a go. Chicka boom gave me nanites. It doesn't always give you the navigational data, even though that's what the marker says it's going to give you. It lies! Sometimes it gives you nanites. Right, well, we have this blue cube. Lovely. Navigational data. Okay, fine. Um, it's not going as well as I thought it would, people. I was hoping to get like a whole stack of navigational data, but no, we've got nanites in there. Let's check this back room over here. There's an orange cube over there. So it's orange cubes, blue cubes, and little hockey pucks. And look, oh, there we go. Got navigational data. I'm going to nick these nanites on the wall while I'm here. Lovely jubbly. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Right, so we've got a couple of navigational datas. And now what you do once you've got your navigational datas is you go over to the cartographer chap over on the, on the opposite side of the actual station. It's all the way over here. I should fly up there. Does anyone use the ramps? I sometimes use the ramps, but very rarely. Right, and head on over to this chap. This guy is the cartographer. Hello there, cartographer. Oh, I like your little yellow green bindi on your head there, mate. Very nice. Yeah, right. Uh, exchange for specific charts. Now, the chart that you want, want is the one that I'm on. The planetary chart just here. Yes, and the inhabited outposty type one. It'd be nice if it listed all the things here in what you might find, wouldn't it? But no, it doesn't do that. I'm not too sure how many navigational data I've got, so I'm just going to keep hitting here until that figure goes red okay well i can get quite a lot but i want to go to quite a lot of these archive sites anyway and get a fair few so i'm i'm just going to go for 30 of the dang things there we go we're gonna go for 30 of them lovely we'd have those thank you very much my friend okay right and um they should now be on my person they should be inside my exosuit there they are and i think i might sell some of these ancient bones and just clear up some of my inventory space because why the fudge not inventory there we go and sell boom uh, we'll get rid of the quad servos as well. Might as well get rid of that. Fleshy rope. Yes, you can go. Bone, you can go. Any other bones? I've still got 17 navigational data left. It's pretty darn cool. Right, let's get rid of the slime. We'll get rid of those. Get rid of that. Might as well get rid of that. Uh, what else can I get rid of? I'll get rid of that. These bones, they can go. Any other bones? There's one. Yeah, I'm full of freaking bones. 
Oh, okay, we've got a load of feline livers as well. It's almost like we could build a creature out of all this stuff that I've got in my pockets. We've even got some freaking proto sausage. What the fudge is going on there? Anyways, I think that's. Oh, we've got some more bones here, haven't we? Boom, boom. Get rid of them. We've got lots of treasures that I need to put aboard my freighter. Might as well get rid of these as well. Now that I've sold those treasures, I hope they still remain inside of my treasures catalogue. Let me just check. They're still there. That's good. All right. Hopefully they don't disappear. I've had all sorts of discoveries disappear, though. Right. So now I've got those charts and we're all in good order. I'm just going to quickly jump in my ship out of my ship to create a save. And then I'm going to start popping those charts and hopefully locate a colossal archive for using the charts. So we go. Exosuit. And where's my charts gone? Oh, for fudge's sake. Uh, okay. Boom. Where are they? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too into this whole scrolling malarkey. You know what? I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this further up. I'm going to put it in the first freaking slot. Okay, right. Boom. Okay, that's an observatory. That's not what we wanted. Okay, fine. Exosuit. Let's do that again. Boom. Observatory. It shouldn't find two observatories. Oh, a transmission tower. Okay, fine. Uh, let's try that again. Chikapow. Shelter detected. Don't want a shelter. No, I don't. I wish it would go to my exosuit since I'm standing outside of my ship. Planetary archive detected. That's what we want. Fourth time lucky. So I used four charts before I actually found that. So you're going to need quite a lot of navigational data. Now, if you don't get lucky with the navigational data, if you really have to, if you really want to, just swap your game mode into creative mode and just grab yourself a load of charts for freaking free. If you don't know how to do that, you just go into your options. You go into difficulty and you just change it up here to creative mode and then you just put apply difficulty settings and go and get yourself a load of free charts and then you can change it back to a normal mode when you're done and apply your settings now if you are in something like permadeath or survival mode swapping your actual game setting though can upset whether you're going to get the um, trophies after you've completed permadeath or survival so if you're in either of those two modes perhaps don't mess with your game settings right here we go let's head on over to the colossal archive it does warn you on the screen before you do that but it is quite easy to go and skip through that and accidentally do something you shouldn't right here let's head on down Golio colossal archive i'm on my way and what I like about these maps is they give you the pinpoint location. There's none of the use in the sweep scanner and having to worry about that sort of jazz. Now, I tend to build bases at these quite often. I quite like these archives. And I am hoping that more use comes into these archives soon. I've done a speculation video on this the other day. And if you want to see that and the speculation, go and hit up a video up there. I'll put a link to it. Yeah, there's lots of speculation around the archives and how they might come into use with maybe these new stations since they share a kinship and look and feel. Oh, my days, I'm going to get landed on. Ah! Okay, right, run around here. Now, where I want to go is this computer right here. Locate information repository. And I just want to print a chart. Now, you can print a load of these, so I might as well grab a load while I'm here. Rather than go and find myself a shed load of other stuff, I might as well just do it here, mightn't I? Okay. Oh, what the? Why is it calling my ship in? It's changed. What the? Okay. Well, that's freaking weird. After I printed my chart, it's now taking my navigational data and moving my ship. Yeah, I didn't do that before. That's freaking weird, isn't it, people? Yeah. Okay, well, it's printed a chart and now it's just calling my ship in. I can't do anything else of it. Okay, well that's a first. Alright, fine. Well, maybe I, I do have to just do that then over and over again. So here we go, we've got our planetary chart. There we go, plot a room. Boom. So maybe they've changed up that for a reason. That plays a little bit more into my speculation video I'll put a link to. You know? Heck yes, it did. Right, oh, right, well we've hit on upper relic chart. So it looks like it is one per archive now. Through, I don't know whether that's by design or by bug or by feature or by what. Okay, anyhow, let's jump on our ship and let's fly on over there. You know what I need to do though, really, is put some sort of beacon here if I can. Yes, I can. There we go. We'll put a beacon there. And the reason I've put a beacon here is so I can come back with the relic and we can plug it into the machine over there and see if we can upgrade said relic. In fact, I could do that with one of the relics that I've got on my person right now. Oh no, I can't because I sold it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's take on off. I should have done that before, but I can do that in this episode, so it's not a problem. Right, well, let's fly on up through the atmosphere since that's like 30 seconds away, and um, we're flying back down again. Yum. 
Oh, it's more than 30 seconds away. I imagine that was 30 minutes. Yes, yeah, 30 minutes. All right, there we go. We're off to the ancient ruin. Lovely jubbly. Go here. And let's go and put it down over here. Meow. Now, I can give you the coordinates for this ancient relic site. I can give you the portal code. But you know what? It's just probably easier if you just find your own using the method that I just showed you. You know, get the navigational data and whatnot. It's, it's a fairly simple, straightforward process. The process that I just showed, basically. Right, so there's that land here. Chicka boom! We're landing! Oh, what a lovely planet. And jumping out of the such ship. Lovely jobs. Uh -ha -ha. Right, I need my train manipulator. And we're going to be digging up some chests. Now, you've got to dig up these three little mini chests first, and they contain keys. Now, there's like five of these here, so you can get two extras if you really want to, but you don't really need to, because you only need three. So here we go, let's uh, dig, dig, dig. And you're going to find these little lunchbox-looking things, unless they're underneath the bedrock, like there. And I'll just have to pull it out through the bedrock. Fun times. And just when I want to show you something, it goes and does something weird. All right, fine. Uh, we go over here. Artifact fragment, 70 odd use, lovely jubbly. And about there. They're usually about 20 use under the ground. So if you get to the 20 use mark, you're about you're about the right place. And there we go. We got ourselves a little lunchbox at that time. That's what they should look like. And you should get an ancient key, like so. Lovely jubbly. Jump out of the hole like a freaking frog possessed. Boom! I've emerged from my hole. And right. Where's, an, where's one more? There's one more. Chikapow, what's that there? Is that a gravitino ball? Yes, it is. Yeah. You thought it would be. I was wondering whether there might be, you know, the ancient data structures, and I could have shown you navigational data in the wild, which would have been nice. But no such joy. Okay. Come on, come on. Dig, 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 dig. There we go. Got that one. Lovely. That one looked like it was already open, didn't it? Anyhow, uh, let's spin this around. There's another gravitino ball up there. Of course there is. Right up. Large artifact crate. That's what we want next. We've got our three keys. Now we want to open this giant chest it's down here. There it is. Doesn't that look cool? All right, let's interact with this. I wish we could have these for bases and then place these in for people to come and visit. Open up and they get something free when they visit your base. Okay, and I've got cloned Baythorn clippings. Okay, let's see if that has populated my catalog. I don't think it has. It's no, it hasn't. This has still taken the top spot for that. So I didn't get anything for doing that. You know what? We'll take it back anyway to the actual archive and we'll see if we can swap those for something better, people inside of the view of us. So hopefully my little uh, beacon has stayed in place. We should have a star on this planet at the moment. We can fly back to said star. Let's start flying up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Spin it around and go back to my uh, beacon. Hopefully it's going to show up. Come on, Beacon. You know you want to. Okay. Um, beacon, Beacon, where are you? I can see there's a star there. There it is. Save Beacon. We're on our way back to the Save Beacon. This should take me back to the archive. Now, of course, I could put a base computer there, and it's then it's easy to get back to. But I think once you've used that chart map, I don't think there's any real need to. Now, I was hoping that this was going to populate out another treasure on my um, my treasures list, but as you can see there, it, it doesn't always do it. So I'm really not sure how I'm going to populate all those treasures. And I'm kind of in two minds. Has Hello Games put all the treasures in as yet? Now, there are relics underneath the sea as well, and you usually get cursed treasures inside of those. So we might have to go and do an underwater treasure next couple of tea episode, people. But yeah, this is just all about experimenting to see if I can get the treasures area of my Wonders catalogue catalogued out. So if you've got any tips for us, let us know inside of the comments. Thank you. So there's this wonderful machine here that you stick one of your treasures in and it kind of rejigs it. Makes some awesome noises, doesn't it, love? And we'll see what it comes back with. There we go. Let's um, hold on. Why can't I submit? I've got one of these. I've got one. Ah, oh, some biscuits. Okay. Uh, right. So I just got one out of the bloody ground, mate. And why did I go into that menu? I want to go into this menu. Go into there. Where's that treasure that I just blinking picked up then? Bum, bum, bum. Why is it put it all the way down somewhere where I'm, where I'm never going to blink and find it? I can't see it. There it is. There it is. There. There it is. Delicate flora. Okay. So it's a flora one. What were these ones all listing then? Have a look. Dum, 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 dum. 
fossil lost artifact of biological, so it hasn't got flora there. Okay, well there is another one downstairs, over here on the wall. Let's see if this one will allow me to put flora in. Come on, let me do a flora sample, mate. Tom, 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 tom. No, that one's not letting me do flora either. So maybe when I go to another archive, maybe I might be lucky, and maybe I might be able to trade this thing in. There's not one on that wall. Sometimes you can find two down here on the walls. There's another one. Let's see if that one's got flora on it. Come on, you know you want to. So sometimes you can trade in like three things if you've got a whole load. No, still hasn't got flora there. All right, fine. Well, I've got a couple of archive bases. I can jump over to the archive bases and I can dig up a few more treasures for you from the viewerverse. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you in a moment. I'll go get some more treasures and we'll see if we can change them up. Okay, cool. Right, well, chums, I've come down to another ancient relic site from printing a map of one of my archives. And right next to it is yet another freaking archive. I struck it freaking lucky. So I can dig this one up and I can go print another freaking map and go dig that one up. That'd be freaking nice. Anyway, like I say, I'll be with you once I've got a shed load of these treasures. And we'll see what we can do with them to see if we can unlock another thing on my wonders catalog. Heck yes. Right, well, I'm about to pop the chests. This is where it gets exciting. So I thought I'd reconvene anyway. Let's open up the box and see what we got. Come on. Chick boom where we got that. Chorus recordings. I don't think that's going to do anything, because I've already got a golden one of them. Dang it! Okay, well, let's start flying out. Lovely jubbly. Well, there's another colossal archive right over here. Ah! Freaking hole that I dug. And um, I'm going to go and hit up another printed chart and see if we get lucky on the next one, people. All right, see you in a bit. Well, I've just got myself another chart, but let's try our gamble with these machines over on the wall with the historical records that I just picked up. Let's see how we get on with that. No, fossil, lost artifact, and biological sample. So, doesn't look like that one's tradable either, people. No, dang it! Well, here we are, the moment of truth, the large crate. For another time, let's let's see what we get this time. Come on, be something awesome. You know, it'll be something awesome. Okay, not so awesome, and I don't think that's going to do anything to my wonders catalog. Oh, maybe, maybe it has. Let's have a look. See, wonders catalog. Where are you? No, it still says twenty-six. So it's just replaced that one. This is what I mean, it just rotates stuff out. Yes, I managed to unlock that one last episode, but we haven't had no luck this episode, and I've dug up three chests at different relic sites. Now, I know that I've got this sort of shaped one before from one of these relic chests. Thing is, I've done it on this save, and it hasn't populated over here. Pretty odd. But I have had that happen from a frigate mission. I've still got my frigates to go and um, debrief. So let's see if we get any luck there. But why is this one exactly the same shape as this one? And nothing's populated. Uh, that one was a like leg bone. There's another leg bone there. It, oh, it just seems very odd. I'm almost thinking that perhaps we haven't got the full roster of treasures added into game yet. And maybe they're to come in another update. Anyways, people, I reconvene back on my freighter and hopefully we'll be debriefing my fray frigates. Heck yes, my frigate commanders. See you back up on my freighter, people. Well, welcome back there, people. Tis me. Tis me still. Yes, I am me. Yeah, I've always been me, to be fair. Anyway, I've got, <laughs> I've got a cup of tea now and I'm up on my freighter. Yeah, that was a really weird freaking comeback, wasn't it? It's been a long day, people. It's been a long day. Did that door just close on its own? I think it freaking did, or am I imagining things? Who knows? Anyway, we're going to be debriefing and see if we get ourselves any treasures. There we go, let's go debrief this commander of this ship. Yes, Photon. I love naming my frigates after 80s cartoons and things I grew up on as a kid. Let's see if we get anything lovely. Um, doesn't look like I got anything lovely, but sometimes things pop up afterwards, don't they? Yeah, take you by a bit of surprise. No, nothing in that one. Alright, fine, no treasures there. Debrief this commander. Boom, let's see if we get anything there. Enriched carbon. Mm, I don't think that's going to do much. No? Okay, there's one then. Come on, third time lucky. Three is the magic number. Oh, yes, it is. There we go. Let's see if we get anything. Sack venom. Albion pearl. No. Doesn't look like we've got anything in there either, people. Hmm. Dang it. All right, fine. Oh, we have. We got dry bush seed. 
seeds. Nice. Dry bush seeds. Everybody wants some dry bush seeds. Okay, let's have a look what that's done to my catalogue. Oh, it's gone up to 27. Boom! Yes, that's not them, though. What the... That's a bundle of alien beams. Well, where the fuck did I... Where did I get them from? Because that's not dry bush. All right, fine. I give up trying to work out... Oh, it, it just popped up. I saw it in the top right-hand corner. So we didn't just get that. We got a whole freaking raft of freaking rare stuff there, people. Okay. Um, I guess that's inside my freighter hull, isn't it? Lovely. All right, where did that go? Fudging heck. There they are. Let's put those over into my exosuit. Boom. Might as well put these into my exosuit to swell. Lovely jubbly. And then next time I visit a giant archive, I can see whether any of these will transmute into something else. We'll have all of them. Thank you very much. I've got a whole freaking rafter of treasures. And that means we've just got a new treasure inside of our catalogue, people. Well, this one is new! Heck yes it is. You know what that means, people inside of the universe? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sound off. We're gonna have ourselves a little mini celebration. Heck yes! Brilliant! Congratulations to me! Yes, party for one. <laughs> anyway, back into game. Because we've we haven't finished. We haven't finished, people. We've got two more freighted sort of thingies to debrief. Let's see if we get more treasures. Boom! Cool. Can you stand any more freaking excitement, people? Can you stand any more harmonica playing? Yes, that was a treat for the ear holes. I do spoil you. I honestly do. Right, so here we go. Let's go through this and see what we get here. Boom. Anything? Mmm. Thermatic condescent, iridium, dum da dum da dum. Anything that wasn't listed inside of that log? No. Okay, right, cool. And a load of freaking units. Nice, thank you very much. Right, debrief commander. Did you find anything lovely? Iridescent. Ooh, side, I've got an egg there. But it doesn't look like we've got anything too special, but, you know, I didn't think I got anything too special in that other one. I got, like, like three things. Oh, that one's empty. Yeah, okay. All right, fine. Well, there we go, people. We've got a treasure from uh, sending out my frigates. Now, people in the viewerverse, I've been asking for your comments and your feedback. And I've had some. I've had some from the viewerverse. I guess I have. I've had some telling me, try running a derelict freighter. Because sometimes you can get some cursed treasure inside of a derelict freighter. So I'm going to be doing that next episode, people. Where's my save point? There it is. Let's hit up that save point. See so yeah, you the next episode of Captain Steve. Tea with Captain Steve. I might be running a derelict freighter, people, inside of the viewerverse. I think there's a title that I still need to get for running 30 different derelicts that I haven't got. So I might try and do maybe a couple of derelicts. See if I get a treasure there. Might have some more harmonica play and treat for the ear holes as well as your eye peepers. Anyway, people, inside of the viewerverse, I'm going to end off. I'm going to drink that lovely fresh cup of brew that I've got here. Yeah, this one that I introduced just momentarily ago in a very weird way. But yeah, I haven't even took a mouthful of that because it's still boiling freaking hot. But anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you go and find yourself a colossal archive or two. Get yourself some treasures. And, uh, yeah, it's giving me something to do inside of No Man's Sky still. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.